<laughs> Whoa, okay. Ooh, here's the new Sega series. Oh, good for series. My humblest apologies. Good for series. But here it is. We're about to get a raid lobby. So, let's just enjoy this for a moment. And then, let's transition. Here we go. Right into the raid lobby. So, basically, here is Glipto Cirrus. Um, got a full team together. Basically, you probably noticed I usually play with David Donuts, obviously. Um, but this morning he just wasn't here. He kind of warned me he wouldn't be here. He said, just in case I'm not, um, friendly, uh, but uh, I, I don't know if they're just. Because last time I played the Jurricane, they were in the lobby, I think. So, uh, I asked, uh, did you know me? And they said, oh yeah, someone in the game plays Jurassic World Live Discord server has one. Um, I don't think I found the exact person, but I found another person, um, Dragon. And, uh, there to go, so, I think we were in the lobby. We weren't, we weren't actually loading into the game. The raid, which was funny, <laughs> and then I was blaming on the guys the whole time. They're still, which they're still in the lobby right now. So, <laughs> um, obviously, I think our point is to get the dragon. Oops, I'm sorry, the guys, but it's a really close. I don't get them in now, and we're all going to be happy. Um, we've also got some from Elite Fusion, too, if you remember back. I used to play with Zork and Stone and Midori online and stuff. So, uh, and then once uh, Game of Dragon left, I just decided I'd invite Sasha because she was online. And Sasha's in <laughs> Not to mention that in the strat, it, uh, you only are quite a level 11 or so in Telechops, but she's got a level 20 in Telechops. So, you know, it's great for this. And um, the story, do you want a story? Uh, basically, because you know how like, the servers have to be all organized with raids and stuff. Like, you have to come with the chance. There's no like, grossy mucking around, um, let's come up with Glyptoceros plants with their own Glyptoceros. It's like, um, let's use this strat. And they're like, do you have a pig? Um, level 20, I'm like, oh. Incredible. I didn't say that obviously, I said, yeah, yeah, I have a little 18 to 19. <laughs> so, I, I ended up leveling uh, my creative portals from 16 to 19. You just have to buy a lot of my it's about 17. <laughs> kind of worth it for the raid, but you know, I want to save up for the new hybrids because I assume if we go by when the raids end, which is next week. We should get an update sometime after that maybe. I can't guarantee that I don't know what I'm discussing, but I want to save up at least about 200 quick points. I gotta go on that journey once again. It's okay, it didn't take more than 70k, it shouldn't take a 200k hopefully. But yeah, here we are now with the left and right out of course. But basically this Glypto Serious Raid, very, very helpful. I'll definitely say, because I think what the minimum you get is 36, and if you times 36 by 6, that is 200 DNA, because you need 200 DNA, to, or it's over 200 DNA, sorry, for anyone who's about to correct me, um, but obviously, if you do this raid, 6 times, 6 weeks, and uh, you get 36 DNA, but you can obviously get more, so you can get less than that. So, if you get lucky, yeah, you could unlock Glypto Cirrus this way. I know um, Sasha doesn't have Glypto Cirrus unlock yet, so this DNA is definitely not available. And anyone who's just like a continent mark, you're not in North or South America, you can't get Stego Cirrus besides from Sanctuaries. You might not even have anyone who's pretty in Sanctuaries. Um, 
this race is definitely going to come in handy because uh, uh, DNA will help you out with those series. And the same with the Rinky Sayun tomorrow, which I can't wait to, can't wait to see the overwrapped animation on that. I got a more sashes. Um, no, not sashes. Jeez, um. Um, um, but that's meant to happen in the strat. This strat is made by Jurricane, by the way. Who, um, you know, you've seen him on the channel before. But, so, and I just mentioned them before talking about And it is a easy 6 turn. Probably one of the quickest to find. So, definitely really easy. And quite a bit of fun. So that Intellichop slow down right there will slow down a bit more serious because it isn't fully immune to speed increase. So thanks for that. And then for out of focus is obviously gonna do truly I hope. Yep, there you go. And here I come for the final takedown. Let's go! Yay! So death. And my emote's going so slow too. There it is. Well, okay. Let's get our incubator and see what we get. So, oh, I might take that invite actually. I need to do I, I've been missing my Chobaxes. So, 60? What? No, that's insane amount. That's like, that is f four weeks if you want to unlock Glypto Sirius this way. So, but you have to get lucky. Um, Sash is telling me they got 48 DNA. So, that's still quite a lot. That's, even with 48, that's... Because it's close to 50, but not exactly 50. You get it... If you were to get 48, 48, 48, and then 60, that would still be, um... Four weeks, I'm pretty sure. So, as you can see... Uh, this is definitely a great way because there's no other way I'm getting Stego Sirius DNA besides Sanctuaries or even actually you could try any quest, but you know, still kind of hard. And then Glyptodon's not too hard, but yeah, Stego Sirius isn't a problem. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.